Good afternoon, sir. Thank you so much for joining us. Good afternoon. I'm obliged to be here. In your view, um, what did you think about Morgan Changirai, uh, especially in view of the fact that he was an opposition leader in Zimbabwe during quite uh, challenging times? Well, I think uh, Robert um, Morgan Changirai shall be remembered as somebody who who fought a oppressive regime with a lot of resilience and fortitude over a number of decades trying to bring about a democratic order in Zimbabwe. He was a selfless leader who committed himself to uh, the quest of Bill of Rights for the people of Zimbabwe, who wanted free and transparent elections, something that is lacking in many uh, African jurisdictions, political jurisdictions. He really fought vehemently, and he did not only fight from the terrains of, of, of fair, 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 fair competition. Most of the time he was persecuted. Many of his uh, lieutenants were killed, maimed, uh, put in prisons because he wanted a fair order of Zimbabwe. And I think he is a leader who is a people's hero who has succeeded in raising the bar for Zimbabweans that they can dream of a better tomorrow. And the mere fact that he could have lived until the day that an octogenarian leader like um, Robert Mugabe has come off from power. I think it, it, it gave him hope that uh, he has really fought for something. And I think now that Zimbabwe is going to the next election, his, his work should echo across the Zimbabwean populace that there is a need for them to respect the rule of law. There is a need for Zimbabweans to fight for a much more cleaner and fairer society. They need to do more on their socio-economic trajectory to bring back jobs, to bring back the economy on track to bring back uh, the human values. And all those are the ethos and values of matters that Swangirai has persistently fought for all his life. Um, when have you met him? And, and how would you describe your interaction and engagements with well, him? Well, I've met Swangirai in South Africa while I was Secretary General of the party. And then his counter, my counterpart then was Tendai Biti, who was a former Minister of Finance. Uh, in political platforms. We later met as uh, we used to be part of the SADAC Opposition Leaders Forum. So it's, 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 we, we used to re engage on all these political forums, whether in Europe, whether in, in, in Southern Africa, talking about deeper democratization on the SADAC region and Africa in general, together with Etienne Sitsaketi of the Congo and many other prominent opposition leaders, Akaenda Hichilemaro of Zambia, my money of South Africa and many other leaders, mm -hmm. we would always share in this opposition leaders forum to talk about how we can strengthen the political bits of opposition parties on the African continent, how we can make sure that there is a much bigger penetration and how we can fight against the rigging in, in our system. He has really extended a number of support to our own political party that also ushered her to become the next official opposition during the last election because he also sent some expertise of professors that came to us and trained us on a number of areas. I do not want to delve in those areas, but there is a consistent engagement between our two parties on better democratization, better electoral reforms, how we can fight them. And through IASA and many other eminent bodies of the world, we are also interacting now and then being invited by IASA to come and interact on a number of issues, especially electoral reforms, especially on matters on how we want to improve the socio-economic uh, trajectory of our own people. So will you be attending the funeral in your capacity as the leader of the opposition here in Namibia? Yes, I will be attending uh, in my capacity as the leader of the official opposition in Namibia, of Namibia and also again as a member of the SADAC Opposition Leaders Forum. Uh, I will also be representing the forum with, with other leaders that are going to join in because we feel he's a colleague of ours, we have worked together. Uh, he has played a role, he has inspired many of us because uh, while all of us are fighting for the same tenants and same better improvements of conditions, he fought it with, with, with his own life. I mean, his own life was, was challenged. His first wife died in very mysterious circumstances, in an accident that could be seen as a possible political assassination attempt on his life. There were so many things. I mean, he's somebody who was tormented physically. He was beaten. He was, he was, he was humiliated. But all these things never stopped Tsvangira. He was a man of all season, very jovial when you met him, very loud, but a very a man of, of, of principles. And he stood by the principle to find a better Zimbabwe for Zimbabweans. And for that, we shall forever remember who he was. What lessons do you think can Namibia 
and especially opposition parties and even those in power learn from, from Changi Rai as, a, as a, a political activist? Well, I think Changi Rai has demonstrated something that opposition leaders can learn from that. Changi Rai was, was denied a presidency that he won in 2008. Mm -hmm. And having lost that presidency didn't make him lose the focus on the bigger picture of Zimbabwe. He did not only insist on uh, saying that if he is not the president, then Zimbabwe must go. He remained uh, committed to, to a national unity government. He worked through that unity government knowing that he has won the election and really created a better lot during that time. The economy, the economy started improving. And I think we should draw lessons that selfless leadership is not only about acquiring the position, but it's also about making sure that you create a room for improvement for a system that can be able to, to be echoed by fu future generations. And I think future generations of Zimbabwe could, can draw lessons from, from that kind of leadership, that he was selfless. It was not only about him, it was more about Zimbabwe than, than the individual that he is. And it's very unfortunate that uh, President Nangwagwa, a few, a, a few um, a month ago, he went and visited him and he wanted to improve the condition of the op opposition leader. It was very late that they are doing it, but it is a good gesture mm -hmm. that they realize that they have mistreated this man for far too long. And if you look at other countries and other systems where you are where, where you're having leadership, leadership is not only about power, it's about sharing that power and make sure that every person who is in that country can play a leading role in making sure that that society propel and moves forward. And as Namibians, we should uh, pay homage to him, and I'm going to send our messages from all the political forces of our country, from all the citizens of our country, that we remember him as a, an African patriot who worked for the better interest of Africa. McHenry Venani, PDM leader, thank you so much for having thank joined us. Thank you. And that was McHenry Venani telling us more about uh, his plans to attend the funeral of Morgan Changirai, leader of Zimbabwe's opposition MDC, who died in Johannesburg on Wednesday.